Hi everybody, I'm Andy Wyke. And I'm Sykes Wolford. Sykes has joined me today for a very special episode of All Pipes Considered. Uh, today we're talking about the 2024 limited edition Carol of Carrollton Pipes by Peterson. Um, so the Carol of Carrollton series was uh, launched in 2021 uh, and it's this really cool sort of uh, throwback to the you know really old school pipes, clay tavern pipes, um, and it really commemorates uh, the intertwined histories of Ireland and uh, the U.S. Um, Sykes, do you want to speak a little bit more to Carol? Or? Sure. So um, Carol was the uh, uh, only Irish Catholic signer of uh, the Declaration of Independence. And so uh, a couple of years after uh, we took over at Peterson, we wanted to do, there was actually a history of, of doing Fourth of July pipes briefly in the early mm -hmm. 2000s. Um, at Peterson, and we wanted to revive that, but in an interesting way. And um, uh, this is really the brainchild of, of Josh Burgess, uh, who over, oversees Peterson. And um, he did his uh, graduate work in colonial mm -hmm. American history. And so we, we put together this homage, this Irish homage to American independence by way of uh, Carol of Carrollton. Um, and this is the fourth year we've done it now. Mm -hmm. we, each year, we wanted to be to make pipes that were obviously within, uh, you know, modern Peterson shaping language and materials and stuff like that. Right. But we wanted to evoke pipes from that period, which of course are are small uh, clay pipes, typically sort of tavern pipes with longer stems and mm -hmm. things like that. And so what we've come up with uh, year after year now is um, sort of a demi-church warden um, with a small to medium-sized bowl um, and then very much centered it in, in Peterson's history with um, a wide silver band mm -hmm. and, and contemporary uh, Peterson stains and finishes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. Um, so, as Sykes mentions, it's the fourth year that we've done the Carol of Carrollton pipes. The first year was sort of a, a very traditional bell shape. Um, and then we follow that up with a uh, sort of a slender Dublin. Uh, and then last year's was uh, like a sort of an acorn uh, shape. Uh, this year is really cool because I, it's a it's a very plump sort of squat tomato. Um, so if you're sort of collecting these, I think this is a very different sort of shape from the ones that have been available previously. I think it fits really nicely into the collection, though. Sykes, as you as you mentioned, it still looks like a Peterson pipe. It's still very much anchored uh, in Peterson's house style. Um, you know, it's uh, very plump proportions. I think it feels really great in the hand. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, really awesome broad silver band. Uh, you know, Jason did a great job on those. The finishes this year are really cool. Um, so we've got a sort of a wide selection of finishes. Um, we've got sort of the traditional heritage. Uh, there's the classic smooth. Um, ebony uh, in limited quantities, a um, uh, host of sandblasts, um, and then uh, a few uh, very superior uh, natural pipes. Anything else you want to add on the finishes themselves, Sykes? On um, on the finishes, no. I mean, it's it, you know we we try to put together an interesting mix each year. This is a little bit different uh, finish mix than we've done in years past, uh, so I'm excited about that. Um, there are 248 serialized pipes mm. uh, because we're coming up here, um, maybe by the time you see this even, uh, we'll be at the 248th anniversary of the signing of, de of the Declaration of Independence. So each year the serialization is set by, uh, by that. So next year it'll be 249, and <laughs> et cetera. Um, sometime in a few hundred years there'll be a lot of them. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but it's very limited. Um, yep. We, this project means a lot to us uh, at, at, at Peterson, and I, most of the, my life I spend working on, on this side of the Atlantic, but, uh, but obviously I spend a lot of time in, in Dublin too, working with them. And, and this is an important project for us because it, it connects for us two parts of the wider company um, in a way that's very meaningful for us. Um, and we're excited to be able to do it every year. Yeah, I think that's a great observation. Yeah, I mean, it's like very iconically Peterson, style uh, celebrating a very important date for um, us here in the U.S. 
Uh, I think it's a great sort of collaboration. Um, and I, I personally look forward to seeing these every year. Uh, I think the proportions are super cool. Like if you're, um, you know, a little hesitant on church warden shapes, but you like classic styles and maybe you want something that's a little bit longer, uh, I think these are still uh, really neat for that. They're still very portable, but they're also like a little bit more willowy, a little bit longer uh, than you would typically see. Um, the stem bending on these is great too, by the way. Uh, like just a very slight bend to them. It's very elegant. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of got that like Prince vibe. Yeah, it sits yeah. this the shape. I mean, we're, we're we're calling it a squat tomato, but it sits somewhere between a Rhodesian without the rings, a yeah. Prince, and uh, and a sort of tomato shape. Um, it's a really cool little yeah. classic, very classic, uh, traditional sort of uh, you know Anglo French Irish uh, mm -hmm. shape. Yeah, totally. Uh, thank you all for joining us, and uh, we'll see you next time for another episode of All Pipes Considered. Thanks so much.